Yeah, morning, Chase. We've seen big volume day playing through. No real panic, I wouldn't say, but uh, certainly some, some big flows playing through the markets. And I think, you know, if you look at where we've been seeing, it's really been the fixed income move, which again has resonated. We've seen uh, yeah, some fairly hawkish rhetoric from an ECB member who's pushed back on rate cuts. We've seen a better ISM manufacturing number with new order subcomponent coming out at 49.2, which is the best level since August 22. And obviously we've seen the shutdown um, being pushed back by 45 days, uh, which puts the November rate hike on the table to an extent. Now, looking at that, that fixed income move, term premiums continue to go ever more positive, and that's pushing the back end of the sort of fixed income curves ever higher. We are seeing that bear steepening playing through. In Europe, you can see bunds on tens uh, up eight basis points into 292. In the UK, you can see 10-year gilts up 13 basis points at 4.58%. We do have our eyes on the August 17 highs of 4.75%. Uh, it looks like we're probably going to go and test that in the short term as well. In US Treasuries, you can see twos up six basis points. Uh, I guess that's a reflection that we are seeing you know, Fed funds and short-term rates moving a little bit higher. We've got November price about 30% chance of a rate hike at the moment. Obviously, saying this ahead of jolts in job openings in the session ahead. We've got services ISM later this week and, of course, payrolls on Friday. Reactions taking place in the 10-year part of the curve. You can see tens up 12 basis points at the moment. And actually, in real rates, you can see 10-year real rates up 11 basis points at 233 at the moment. So that move in real rates and breakout there obviously really propelling uh, risk assets to the downside. And you can see the dollar index really benefiting from that move in real rates. And you can see uh, we're currently eyeing a, a push into 107. You've got dollar yen about 20 pips a bit shy of 150. Uh, you've got euro dollar trading shy of 105 at the moment. And Aussie dollar, which has seen some good flow, trading 63, 66, down over 1%. Now, that's obviously going to be in focus today. We do have the RBA meeting coming out at half past two. Uh, no one's really expecting any rate hikes here. But where it gets interesting is if you look at that pricing for November, uh, you can see it's about a 50% chance there as well. So that guidance needs to marry up with that statement. Are they going to open the door for, and, and show some propensity to, to hike rates in that November meeting? That's what's being priced at the moment. Now, if you want vol, you're going to Latam FX. You've seen some big, big moves playing through in the COP and also in the CL, CLP, partly down to the fact that we've seen copper prices down 2.5% and also oil prices uh, kicking back lower. Uh, and we've seen that down about 2% or so at the moment. Uh, what we're seeing in precious metals has been really well traded at the moment. We've got gold trading 18.29 down about 1%. Obviously, that move in real rates in the dollar. A toxic mix for gold prices, but we are looking for that to continue to move down to about 1810. Uh, silver's seen that huge technical break there, you know, down about four and a half percent there. So, you know, big flows coming through in silver as well, uh, playing through. Now in equity land, the big flow has been on the Russell. We've seen small caps getting beaten up, the KRE ETF really damaging market sentiment there, down nearly 3%. Uh, but you can see the, the, the US uh, 2000, the Russell, uh, really, really underperforming. You know, this idea about being short Russell, long NASDAQ has worked really well on the day. The NASDAQ and the S&P holding in pretty well, uh, really being buoyed up by what we've been seeing. NVIDIA, Apple, Google, and also uh, Meta on the day there. NVIDIA getting a bit up, given the fact that we've been seeing that being put on the Goldman Sachs conviction buy list for playing through. Now, Asia is expected to open on a slightly weaker footing. We are expecting the ASX to be the underperformer of the region playing through. Uh, it's going to be an interesting day, obviously, watching that RBA exposure going forward.